What is going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a backspin serve tutorial so you can get your backspin nice and spinny and get it as consistent as possible. If you really want to improve your serve, stay tuned guys, watch till the end. I'm going to be giving you a quick, snappy, short tutorial with a couple tips, tricks, basically to get your backspin serve as good as you can to beat your opponent and to confuse your opponent so much guys. If you haven't already subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I'm posting more videos like this each week. Let's get straight into the video. Let's go. First, I'll talk about the technique involved with doing the serve. So the technique involved with the backspin serve is quite simple. It just involves a lot of wrist action and not as much arm action as you probably think. The grip involved will just be a normal pinch grip on the inside side of the, um, the bat. So your thumb is just going to be on the upper side of the bat and as you can see the rest of my fingers are just going to be on the bottom just curled up together. So you can get a very strong pinch grip on the bat so you can get a really quick fast wrist movement. I'll show you why you need that later on in the video. Now guys a pretty common beginner mistake for the backswing serve involves just holding the bat like a normal forehand toss in shot and then trying to do the back and serve. Obviously you can do that and still get a, a quite um, a moderate amount of backspin but if you really want a lot of backspin then you'd want to do the pinch grip. For the backspin serve you've got to be in pretty much the same stance as pretty much all of your um, table tennis serves. So for me you've got to be on the opposite side of your forehand on the table so you're going to be facing along the base of the table so you're not facing this way straight you want to be facing pretty much 90 degrees away from the table and just be in this position pretty much so you want your knees to be bent and just spread apart naturally just to make it more comfortable for your position right before you serve so guys once you're in that position i'm going to break down a couple of steps to actually maneuver the serve let's get straight into it so after you're in the position, you're bent, your knees are bent and you're bent over and you're ready to serve, obviously you're going to throw up the ball and you want your bat to come in in a flat position, not over because that will cause topspin. So you want it to come underneath the ball and brush it slightly at the right timing. The ball's going to be coming down and this is where um, I talked about how you need to have a pinch grip so you can really flick your wrist as fast and as quickly as possible. So you need to get the right timing for when you're going to flick your wrist underneath the ball to cause backspin. Like that. So you throw up the ball, the ball comes back down, and you need to whip your wrist, kind of whip it. Not arm movement, you really just want to have a tiny amount of arm movement. But pretty much for the backspin serve, all you really need is the flick of your wrist to brush underneath the ball to cause the backspin in the serve, obviously. You want to hit the ball pretty low to the table. You hit it high, the ball is going to come up high and it's going to be really easy to hit back. Alright, so the three components you want to have for the backspin serve that will make it a really good serve. Um, so you want to have the right timing for when the ball's coming down and then just a tiny bit of brush. You don't want to hit it really hard, obviously. You just want to brush the ball underneath and then a quick flick. So they're pretty much the three things you need to have to get your backspin serve at least to a, like a good amount of backspin. So after you've done the whole movement, your next thing you want to aim is to get it as short to the net, like as close to the net as possible. So you can make the serve as short as possible, making it harder for your opponent to return. So after you've thrown it up, done a quick flick with a bit of brush and Put cause backspin onto the ball. You don't want to hit it too hard because then the ball will obviously go too long and it won't be as, as a good serve as you could get it. You just want to brush it underneath, be in a quick motion, and then you can get the ball nice and short, which is hard to return. Guys, if you want to practice your backspin serve at home, a good way is just to be by yourself. Um, this is if you have a table, I'll show you another way if you don't have a table. But if you just by yourself, 
just serve it and see how many bounces you can get. So if you can get three bounces, then you've got a good serve because you want to get as short as possible. If you can get it coming down to the end and then it goes back without even getting off the table, that is a great serve and you should definitely use it in your game. Here is another way you can practice your serve when you're not around anyone or you don't have a table. So you can simply literally just do the movement in your hand. Like that. It's very simple, you can just practice the flick and then see how much back spin you can get. Like so. Just throw it up, get the timing, get the brush. And yeah, you can do that anywhere, any place, any time. All right guys, that is it for today's video. I really hope this can help you in some way. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and I'd really appreciate if you can also share this video and like it. See you next time for a next tutorial I'm posting each week. So hopefully, yeah, I can help you out in some way or another. See you next time, guys. I always miss every single time.